So I picked journalism because I wanted to give a voice, you know, to the voiceless. I myself came from a refugee background from Afghanistan in the early 90s with my family. And I guess I just wanted to help people. And my way of helping people is by shedding light on issues and on topics that, you know, people may not be aware of, you know, exposing injustices and trying to better society. You know, I was told that I couldn't be a journalist, as I mentioned before, because I wear the hijab. And I could have taken that, you know, as gospel and I could have said, okay, well, if that's the case, I, need, I better pack my bags now. But I didn't. I kept going. I believed in myself. And I was able to, you know, achieve what I achieved and I was able to be here today and, you know, be a practicing journalist. It's very, very important to have mentors for young women. I don't think I would be here today if it wasn't for my mentors. I think just having a, someone who you can look up to, a strong, independent female who may or may not practice journalism, but you may learn so much from them. My faith, you know, gives me a sense of empathy when I deal with certain stories and when I deal with people. My faith gives me direction, it gives me purpose. Um, and I think my faith keeps me humble and keeps me sincere. And I think that's the most important thing of all. I think my advice for young women would be to keep pursuing your dreams, never give up, never take no for an answer. And it doesn't matter what skin color you are, what you believe in, what you wear on your head, you know, what music you listen to. At the end of the day, it's about your merit and it's about your work and your quality of work and the way you carry yourself.